Bittman 2016 election coverage. WGAL is covering all the races that impact the Susquehanna Valley, from the presidential contest down to state and local races. It's our commitment to making you a more informed voter. I am joined now by the candidates running for the 87th Legislative District in Pennsylvania House of Representatives. This district covers parts of the West Shore and Cumberland County, including Camp Hill, East Pennsboro Township, Hamden Townships, and parts of Silver Spring Township. The candidates from left to right are Jim Massey, the Democratic challenger from East Pennsboro Township, and Republican incumbent Greg Rothman from Silver Spring Township. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. I appreciate thank your you. time. Right. We will start with Representative. What do you think is going right or wrong in Harrisburg, and, and how do you fix it, or how do you go about it? Well, what's going uh, right is that, uh, at least in central Pennsylvania, we have uh, the quality of life is great, and people like living there. We've got great schools in Cumberland County, and our tax base is pretty low. The, um, what's going wrong in Harrisburg is they have this unsustainable amount of spending. Uh, my first budget in 2015, we only spent 2.5% more, which was fine, but this year we passed a budget that was 6 in, uh, mm -hmm. a 6% increase in spending. I actually voted against it, and we've got a huge, huge uh, pension crisis, about a $60 billion shortfall, and we're probably going to have a $1 or $2 billion shortfall this year just from the budget we passed, the revenues that are coming in. Hmm. Sounds like a lot to do. Mr. Massey, where, where do you th see things right or wrong and why you want to go there? Well, I want to be there because the legislature has operated the same way for 200 years. I want to see some changes occur to get to the modern times and get away from operating like it's 1816. I'm concerned that our infrastructure has really fallen apart. We are the Keystone State, but yet we're the only uh, interstate in the country that has a one lane going around at Harrisburg at 83 and I, we named the interchange for Eisenhower but she was the father of the interstate so I just really find that really appalling that they've done that we need a lot of extra road to go down to uh, West Virginia down on the place they have six lanes around a lot of little small towns like mm -hmm. Martinsburg here we are got three interstates intersection and we don't have the able to move the traffic, plus we're building in all of these uh, focal points to distribute things, which is great. Mm -hmm. That's what we used to always tell people. This is an unbelievable place to cover the whole East Coast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got that. Also, I'm concerned about education. Mm -hmm. We've got a problem that we're teaching to the test. That's great. Mm -hmm. But I'll bet that half the legislature would have a hard time making an 80 on the eighth grade English portion I'd like to be able to see that and say, okay, if you don't pass it, you're out of the office as of this afternoon. <laughs> they would look a little bit more about how the test is done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need to be training students for the 20th, first century. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just teaching somebody to be able to pass a test doesn't get them qualified to understand what it's all about. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. talk to most kids, what do they want to be? I want to be a pro athlete or I want to be a rock star. Well, <laughs> I was involved with four or five of my best buddies at Georgia we went to the pros and none of them but one actually has any real money to show for uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. In the same way, uh, when you go to rock, and so I grew up in a town with a lot of rock stars, uh -huh. but yet there's an awful lot of them that never made a <laughs> bit of money. And that's just yeah. the point. You know, and, and the last I would just want to see is deal with some of the long-term problems. We have got a corruption problem uh -huh. in this state. Mm -hmm. We're number five in the country. Mm -hmm. Actually, number four. Mm -hmm. We're now number five in hate groups. We're getting to be number one, close to number one in all the wrong reasons, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we need to really change all that, and I think that's what I'm looking forward to do at this time. I think you jumped ahead to my, my next question, which is legislative priorities. Obviously, leadership gets to decide what runs, but Representative, if you had your choice of things you could run, what would be the top of your legislative priorities? Well, getting spending under control. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unsustainable, the, the, the spending. Uh, doing something about the, the pension. And we need to protect and keep the promise to the retirees that, uh, and make sure that the pension is shored up. But I would say, and have been saying, that from day one, if you're a new state employee or a new teacher, you should go under a, a defined contribution system, just like the federal government has, just like most of the businesses in Cumberland County have. I mean, it's not sustainable to continue on this defined benefit plan. And the only way we're going to protect the retirees and keep the promises of the retirees is to shore up the pension system. But it's going to take some courage. So that, that would be my number one priority because it's a driving force in causing us to have to raise school taxes. It's, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's causing problems for the schools because they can't do it. It's even causing problems in our prison system because of the, the pensions for the prison guards. And our, there was a story last week that 
all the money on the gas tax, a lot of the money on the gas tax is going to the state troopers when it was supposed to be going to fix the roads, as, mm -hmm. as Jim pointed out, he's, he's absolutely right. And we've fallen behind on infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, those would be, you know, those are more, you know, nuts and bolts. Let's, mm -hmm. you know, make the trains go on time. But, but really, that's what I found in the first year that the legislature should be doing. They should be making sure that uh, we don't notice when government's not doing its job so that, it, that, that uh, the government is efficient and, and doing the right thing. You guys, we're getting close to the end here. Let's just jump right to the, the, the biggest question of all. We'll start with you, Mr. Massey, on why you think you're the right person to represent this district. Well, I've been in, in Cumberland County for 45 years, even though a lot of people might think I got off the boat yesterday, <laughs> or I just came into Cumberland County to run against Representative Rothman. But I've been very active in the community from all the way back from Carlisle JCs to Indian Guides to being the chief of the biggest tribe they ever had mm -hmm. to a leader of Weeblos and Boy Scouts, so forth, and been a community activist always involved in different things throughout that I'm always concerned about what we can do to improve quality of life. People ask me all the time, why do you live in central Pennsylvania? I say, you don't know how well kept secret this place is. <laughs> now, nice. though, people in New York and everybody mm -hmm. else is mm -hmm. finding out central Pennsylvania has got everything yeah. that the biggest cities in the world have, with little of the hassle, yeah. but the hassle started. And that's what we need to get concerned about. Okay. And Mr. Rothman, why, yeah, why did you send you back? Well, first of all, it's been an honor to serve this first year. I, I spent uh, 10 years in the Marine Corps, grew up, spent my whole life in this area too, and, and uh, spent 26 years running a, a small business. Uh, and uh, I, I think I'm, I'm someone who gets stuff done. And, and I've been able to go, and even in the first year, uh, influence the debate and, and get stuff done, and I want to continue to do that. But it's, it's just about service. I, I think public service is a calling. Uh, this isn't a career for me. And uh, I know it's not for, for Mr. Massey either, so uh, I think I bring some common sense and some small business experience, and, and I think also, uh, you know, Marines know how to get things done. So. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate Thank you both you being much. here. Well, remember, Election Day is Tuesday, November 8th, and keep up with the latest election news on WGAL.com. There you can find more information on the other races we're following that you'll only find online.